Hey cultivators, let's explore Arroyo's new irrigation control integration through Open Sprinkler. This combination makes setting irrigation schedules easier than ever by consolidating your irrigation and water content data into one platform. This is eliminating the need for separate apps and spreadsheets. In this video, we'll go over some of the main features and how you can get started. The first step is to sync your controller with Arroyo. Start from the setup selection in your dashboard. Go to controllers just to the right of the devices tab. Select add a controller. A pop up will appear that allows you to add your Open Sprinkler controllers. We'll want to enter the IP address of our Open Sprinkler controller. And we'll want to make sure we get the password in correctly. The default port is set to port 80. Make sure this matches the setup port for your Open Sprinkler. We'll select the array gateway that we want to connect our open sprinkler to. Make sure it's the gateway that's on the same local area network and subnet as your open sprinkler. And then we'll give it a device name. We'll say save. Get the confirmation that save succeeded for irrigation controller. And the last communication status should show a recent timestamp after it's connected to the open sprinkler. It's going to continue to try three times and could it take up to 10 minutes to connect if there's an issue. In this case, we almost immediately got the confirmation, successfully started provisioning irrigation controller. It now shows that it's configuring. And here in a minute, we'll have a very recent last communicated timestamp. Click on your recently added controller. Your core controllers will have channels one through eight. Array will automatically detect all of your open sprinkler expansions. Start mapping zones in your rooms by specifying which channels on your open sprinkler controller to assign. Make sure to select whether the zones are run in sequence or at once. Save those zones. And now we're ready to start making irrigation schedules. There are two ways to get started. Let's begin by setting up a room based irrigation schedule. Room-based irrigation schedules do not follow any timelines and will irrigate every day based on the schedule. First, I'm going to select the flower room that I want to irrigate for. And from the room dashboard, we'll select the irrigation option from the right side snack bar. The first time we set up an irrigation for this room, Arroyo will ask some details about your substrate and dripper. In this case, I'm going to be irrigating for one gallon cocoa pots with a volume of one gallon. And I use two emitters that drip at 0.29 gallons per hour. Now I can create either an irrigation template or a one-off new irrigation for the time frame that I specify. From this screen, I'm gonna select which zones I wanna irrigate and I can name this irrigation. From the timing screen, we can set up when and how many of our P1 irrigations are occurring, and the same details for our P2 irrigations. In this case, I'm going to be running some generative steering, and I'm going to run my irrigations for 90 seconds. I'm going to do it four times, and I'm going to repeat it every 15 minutes. This will get me up to field capacity in about one hour. Let's say save. We'll have a save confirmation pop up in the top. And we can go over to the room schedules page and see that it's currently inactive. Let's say resume. And this will begin pushing the irrigation schedule to our open sprinkler. Again, confirmation started publishing an irrigation schedule and we can see that it's building this irrigation schedule and it has pushed it to my open sprinkler successfully. The second way to schedule your drip ir irrigation in Arroyo is by creating irrigation templates. Let's jump into our Productions tab, click on Irrigation Templates, and create a new irrigation template. First question is going to ask me which phases the template is applicable for. I'm going to create a flower phase, and I'm going to specifically call this One Gallon Cocoa, and let's use it for generative stacking. 
click Next, and this will be setting up the timing for our irrigation events. In this case, I'm going to do irrigations for 90 seconds of duration. I'm going to irrigate four times. I'm going to repeat them every 15 minutes. We'll say Save. And it's going to add this irrigation template to my list of templates. You can build as many schedules as you want. Easily replicate these templates for future runs. Modifying these templates is easy too. Just make sure you click on the right side with the dot dot dot. Select edit template. Make the modifications you need to that schedule. Say save. And it'll update that template. Now that we've built a template and we know how to modify them, let's attach to a harvest group by phases. You can create a new harvest group and attach the irrigations, or you can go in and update an existing harvest group. I'm going to update an existing harvest group. I'm going to click on the Schedules tab, and this will show the different phases for our harvest group. I'm going to select the Edit Mode. And then I'll select the drop down for irrigation. And I can choose the template from the list. Generative stacking template right there. Perfect. And it'll update it. Now that you've set up irrigation templates and applied irrigation schedules to your harvest group phases, let's go into the room dashboard and verify that it's written to the record. I'm going to go into the room dashboard, flower 5, open up my irrigation tab on the right side, and we can see right there, there's my harvest group, there's my harvest group irrigation schedule. I've got early flower generative running in zones 1 and 2. It's currently active. This is where I can enable and disable it. And then it's got some more information about how this irrigation is working. So my total irrigation time would be my first irrigation to my last irrigation. My dryback duration would be number of hours from last irrigation to first irrigation the next day. And then it tells me my next irrigation starts tomorrow. If I hover over these little icons, it shows the irrigation information. First irrigation there at 8 a.m., next irrigation at 8.19, 8.38, and then 8.57. If I need to modify this irrigation, I can simply click on this card, it'll open up the details, and we can update the irrigation details. Maybe I want to run a little bit longer irrigation from first to last. It's going to pop up with an irrigation adjustment confirmation. We can add a note, and I could call this decreased dryback duration. And we'll see that now I have a dryback duration of 22 hours and 14 minutes. If we need to disable this and run the room schedule, we'll want to disable this card. Click over to the room schedule, and we could enable our room schedule irrigation. Arroyo's sensor technology keeps constant tabs on your environment and irrigation. Any errors are logged in the irrigation dashboard and on the controller panel. In this case, I've got an irrigation error. It says that my open sprinkler controller is offline. I can verify that by going into the setup tab and going into the controllers page. We can see six minutes ago, the controller went offline. You can enable text and push notifications from your account profile. And we can go in here and look at irrigation schedule change, irrigation controller offline, no irrigation communication, or an unexpected irrigation controller port status. In this case, I've got my phone number set up for text notifications. And I can check back in our resource center down here in the bottom left, the question mark, for any tips to help optimize my irrigation. I can stay up to date with platform features and quick start guides from the resource center. And that's just the beginning. Keep an eye on our resource center announcements. 
to keep up to date with all the new releases on this expansion and learn more about irrigation control.